There is a power that can move mountains, heal the broken, and bring light into the darkest of places. There is a force so strong that it can rewrite destinies, break chains, and lift us higher than we ever thought possible. It is not just for ancient times or stories long gone. It is alive, real, and it is here today. This power is called faith. Throughout history and even now, lives are transformed, hearts are healed, and miracles unfold through this one divine gift. If you have ever wondered whether God's hand could reach into your life, change your circumstances, and make the impossible happen, then keep watching. Because today we are diving deep into how faith continues to be the heartbeat of God's miracles, both in the past and right here, right now. Let this message inspire you to believe like never before, to reach out to God with a heart full of expectation. And remember to subscribe and come back to this video often. Let these words renew your faith and bring you closer to the God who never changes. Faith is the foundation of our relationship with God. It is the unbreakable bridge between the natural and the supernatural, the seen and the unseen. Faith does not just believe that God exists. It trusts that He cares, that He acts, and that He is willing to intervene in our lives. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, Jesus said, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Think about that for a moment. A mustard seed is tiny, almost insignificant in size. Yet Jesus said that even faith as small as that can make the impossible a reality. He was not just giving us words of comfort. He was revealing the incredible potential of faith. This means that no matter how small our faith might seem, it holds the power to unleash God's miracles in our lives. My beloved friends, I, I want you to know that faith is more than just belief. It is a strong conviction, a trust that God will come through even when all circumstances say otherwise. It is the quiet confidence that, as Luke chapter 18 verse 27 reminds us, what is impossible with man is possible with God. This verse calls us to lift our eyes beyond what we can see and understand. God's ways are higher than ours and His power is limitless. What might seem like a dead end to us is only the beginning of God's miracle. We are invited to place our trust in Him fully, to let go of the limitations we put on our own abilities, and instead rely on His infinite strength. Let us look at the story of the woman with the issue of blood in Matthew chapter 9, verses 20-22. For twelve years she had suffered, tried every cure, spent everything she had, and was left broken and desperate. When she heard about Jesus, she didn't let the crowd stop her. She pushed forward, thinking, If only I touch his garment, I will be healed. And she did. She reached out in faith, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Jesus felt power leave him and turned to her, saying, Take heart, daughter, your faith has healed you. This story shows us that faith is not passive. It reaches, it believes, and it clings to Jesus as the source of healing and life. This woman's faith didn't come from seeing or understanding, but from her desperation and her trust that Jesus could heal her. Her story reminds us that no matter how deep our suffering or how long our struggle, Jesus is near and his power is available to us when we reach out to him in faith. Another powerful example is Zacchaeus, the tax collector in Luke chapter 19. Zacchaeus was a man with a stained reputation, an outcast despised by his own people. Yet, when he heard Jesus was coming, he set aside his pride and climbed a tree just to see him. Jesus noticed his faith and said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. In that moment, Zacchaeus' life was transformed. He experienced acceptance, forgiveness, and restoration because of his faith. Zacchaeus' story teaches us that faith is not just about asking for what we need. It is about seeking Jesus with a heart willing to be changed. Sometimes faith means climbing above our doubts, our fears, and our pride to see Jesus clearly. Zacchaeus did not wait for Jesus to come to him. He made an effort and his faith was rewarded. God saw his faith and met him with grace, showing us that when we seek him earnestly, he will reveal himself to us. 
The story of the crippled man in Acts 3 verses 6 to 8 is yet another reminder of how faith in God brings about miraculous transformations. When Peter said to the crippled man, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk, his faith was put to the test, and immediately the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk, leaping and praising God. Imagine that moment, years of immobility and dependence on others instantly transformed into a life filled with freedom and mobility. This wasn't just a miracle of physical healing, it was a miracle of restoration, of God's power meeting a man's simple faith and creating a new reality for him. Faith in Jesus even has power over death itself. In John 11, we see this in the story of Lazarus, who had been dead for four days. When Jesus arrived, he was met with grief, with doubt, and with an overwhelming sense of loss. But he said to Martha, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? And then, standing before the tomb, Jesus called Lazarus out, and he walked out alive. This miracle reminds us that God's power knows no limits. Not even death can stop His love and grace. If we believe, if we have faith, God can resurrect the dead places in our lives. Whether it's broken relationships, lost hope, or a dream we thought was impossible, God is able to bring it back to life. So, as you listen to this prayer, let go of your doubts and fears. God is still the God of miracles. He is still able. And if this prayer resonates with you, dear friends, I encourage you to come back and listen to it daily. Let it strengthen your faith and draw you closer to God. Also, subscribe for more faith-filled words that will empower you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us pray with hearts full of faith and expectation. In the victorious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Gracious and loving Father, we come before you in awe of who you are. You are holy, magnificent, and worthy of all our praise. You are glorious beyond comprehension, full of mercy and abounding in love. You are the God who created the heavens and the earth, who spoke stars into existence, shaped us from the dust of the earth, and breathed life into us. Lord, we adore you with every part of our being. You are our strength, our refuge, and our hope. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. We honor you, for you are good, and your love endures forever. We know that you are moved by faith, and so we come, Lord, with hearts full of belief, asking that you hear us, draw near to us, and transform our lives in ways we cannot imagine. You alone are the God who can do the impossible, and we place every part of our lives into your capable hands, trusting in your goodness and mercy. Father, we pray for a renewed faith that sees beyond what the eyes can perceive. Grant us faith that holds steady, even in the face of trials, and that grows stronger with every challenge. When doubt tries to creep in, Remind us of your promises and give us the strength to stand firm, declaring that you are our God, our refuge, and our deliverer. Lord, let our faith become a testimony to others of your goodness, a light that shines brightly in a world that needs hope. Wondrous Lord, we ask for miracles that reveal your compassion and grace. You see every pain, every tear, every heartache, and every unspoken need. We ask that you would step into our circumstances, bringing comfort, healing, and peace. For those who have cried out in desperation, wondering if you are near, remind them of your constant presence. Hold them close, Lord, and let them feel your comforting embrace, assuring them that you have heard every cry and that you are working in ways they cannot yet see. We ask for the miracle of transformation within us, Lord. Shape us to reflect your image more and more each day. Take away the things within us that are not pleasing to you, the pride, 
the fear, the bitterness, and the doubt. Fill us with your spirit so that our thoughts, our words, and our actions align with your heart. Make us vessels of your love and grace, Lord, so that others may see you in us and be drawn to your light. Father, we pray for our families and homes. Bring restoration to every relationship that is fractured or strained. Where there is division, bring unity. Where there is pain, bring relief. Where there is coldness, bring warmth and understanding. Let our homes be places of peace, love, and joy, a reflection of your kingdom here on earth. Lord, we pray for the salvation of our loved ones, that every member of our family may come to know you personally and walk in your ways. Lord, we seek your divine guidance. Many of us are at crossroads, facing decisions that will shape our futures. Speak to us, Father, and make your will clear. Lead us in paths of righteousness and give us the courage to follow wherever you may lead. If we are heading in a direction that is not your best for us, close the door and open the one that leads to your purpose. Help us to surrender our plans to you, trusting that your ways are higher and that you know what is best. We pray for miraculous provision, Lord. You know the needs of each heart here and we trust you to supply all that is necessary. Open doors of opportunity and bless us so that we may bless others. For those who are struggling financially, bring relief. For those looking for jobs, provide the perfect position that aligns with the gifts you have given them. Help us to be good stewards of all that you give and to always give thanks for your blessings, big and small. Father, we ask for your protection over our lives, our families, and our communities. We ask that you would place a hedge of protection around us, shielding us from harm, illness, and every scheme of the enemy. Guard our minds, our hearts, and our bodies, and let no weapon formed against us prosper. Keep us safe in your hands, Lord, and let us find refuge in your everlasting arms. And Lord, we pray for a miraculous revival in our faith. Set our hearts ablaze with a renewed passion for you. Let our love for you grow deeper and stronger each day. Give us a hunger for your word, a desire to seek you in prayer, and a longing to know you more intimately. Let our lives be marked by the presence of your Spirit, and let our faith be unshakable, a light that brings hope and joy to all who see it. Lord, we know that you are the God of miracles, and we stand on the promises of your word, believing that you will work mightily in our lives. We trust in your timing, your wisdom, and your love. And we thank you in advance for the miracles that are already on the way, the blessings that are about to unfold, and the breakthroughs that will testify to your greatness. We place our fears, our worries, and our burdens at your feet, trusting that you are more than able to carry them. You have promised that you are with us, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We hold on to that promise, Lord, knowing that you are our rock, our salvation, and our deliverer. Father, we ask for an increase in faith. Help us to believe beyond what our eyes can see, to trust in your power and your plan for our lives. Your word says that with faith all things are possible. Lord, plant that seed of faith within us, that we may stand strong in the face of trials and cling to you, knowing that you are always with us. We pray for miracles to abound in us, Lord. Just as the woman with the issue of blood reached out in faith and was healed, we reach out to you. Touch us, Lord, and let your healing flow through our bodies, minds, and spirits. Heal us, restore us, and make us whole. We believe in your power, and we trust that nothing is too difficult for you. Lord, we ask that you transform us, just as you transformed Zacchaeus. Draw us closer to you, soften our hearts, 
and make us new. We surrender our pride, our past, and our sins to you. Enter our lives, Lord, and fill us with your presence, so that we may be changed from the inside out. We also pray for resurrection in every area of our lives that feels dead. Just as you called Lazarus out of the tomb, call forth the things that have been buried within us, our dreams, our purpose, our joy. Bring them to life, Lord, and let your glory shine in us. Lord, help us to walk by faith and not by sight. When we face obstacles, remind us that nothing is too difficult for you. When our hearts are heavy, remind us that you are our comfort and our strength. Give us the courage to believe beyond what our eyes can see, to trust that you are working all things together for our good. We surrender our plans, our fears, and our lives into your hands, knowing that your ways are higher and your love is unfailing. We pray for the boldness to speak your truth, to be lights in this world, and to share the hope of your love with those around us. May our lives be a testimony of your goodness, your faithfulness, and your power. Let our faith inspire others to draw closer to you, to seek you, and to find peace in your presence. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for the miracles that are on the way, for the breakthroughs that are coming, and for the victories that are yet to be won. We know that you are faithful, that you are good, and that you are working on our behalf. Fill us with hope, renew our strength, and give us peace as we wait on you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayers. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type, praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.